If I lose a minigame against Master Difficulty, the video ends. Master, Master, Master. Okay. So, I figured I'd do Mario Party 9 because that's my best bet at winning this for a while. I could also just do the minigames one back to back, but I figured I'd extend the video a little bit by uh, actually taking part in the board. I used to speedrun this game, so, you know, I, I was somewhat decent at it. I would like to give it a go. And uh, you know what, like the thing, the thing is with this game is it's, it gets a lot of flack uh, and I don't, I, I get it, I do understand why, but I really love how it plays and the mini games are some of the best of the entire series, I just, I just really like it. Um, and I'm looking forward to getting to it in Party Hard. Um, for those who don't know, um, my friend Emil and I have a series where we're playing through every single party game ever made, um, uh, in order. Uh, and in release order, that is. Um, and yeah, it'll take many, many years until we get to this game. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to getting to it, and I hope Emil ends up enjoying it as well. If this was a speedrun, this would actually be going very, very well, because you... So in terms of a speedrun, you want to avoid minigames. Um, the idea is you want to, uh, you, you want to try and speed up time as much as possible, and the game will try and forcibly send you minigames because that's what it deems fun, and that's true, the minigames are fun, for the most part. Um, but at the same time, you know, it's, it's, the game's, in a speedrun, you don't want that, you want to avoid the quote-unquote fun, because... Yeah, that's, that's not how this works. Um, so there's a bunch of things you can do. Like, you may be thinking, why would you ever speedrun this? You have no control. Um, and that's not strictly true. You can understand how the AI works. Um, and there are sections like this. If I'm the one in control here, depending on what I roll, I can forcibly miss a minigame. So right now, um, going left will give me a minigame. Um, so I can forcibly ignore that and go right. Uh, for the sake of this video, I will go left, because we've not run into a minigame yet. Um, but, it, in terms of that, and also I can choose what the minigame is. So, in this case, actually, landing on a minigame, my best bet is Tuba Tug. Even Master AI sucks at this, so I'll be good. Um, so, and also, it's the quickest minigame. Um, so that's my, my best bet. Uh, but like, that's, the, the, like, there are things you can do to, to make sure you win. Yay! I'm very proud of that. That was good. <laughs> yeah, no, the Master AI sucks at this minigame. I don't really know why. They are just... Yeah, they're not good. Um, but yeah, so you can you can do a bunch of things to manipulate how the AI will move. Like, uh, in certain cases, there is... In board 3, there is a door that you need to roll a 6 to progress. Um, and if you don't... You, if you don't get the 6, you go in a rotation. And then you... Uh, you It's the next person uh, who rolls um, a four, and then you go around again, then a two, then a one, etc. And you, it wastes time if you don't get in first time. If the AI is winning when they get to the door, the AI will always get a six. Almost always. Okay, not always. Almost always. Because the AI wants to win. Um, okay, tackle takedown is quite... Ooh, actually... This might be hard. What are the controls again? <laughs> Uh, it's just, yeah, hold sideways, tackle, right, this actually might be quite difficult, like, genuinely. I hope it won't be, I hope we'll get him, but the AI can be good at this. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, we're good. <laughs> cool. As long as I don't lose, we're fine. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, so you want to try and make it so that you're not losing by too much, but you are losing, and the AI is the one who gets to that door. And you've also got various dice that you can use to try and manipulate the situation, and it's just a lot of little things, like, I know where an AI is going to go depending on the situation. Um, like, and, so, like, blue spaces, if you haven't landed on a minigame in a while, will give you a minigame. Um, oh, snow go, I should be fine. This is my favorite minigame in the game, so I'd be surprised if I wasn't. Um, so, like, yeah, there's, it's just a very interesting speedrun. I think it's a fascinating... Just It's just a fascinating speedrun. It's really... It's, it's surprisingly technical, um, despite it being mostly luck-based. Um, 
So yeah, it's uh, it's cool. I I recommend checking out speedruns a bit sometimes. It's oh no, don't do that. I'll tell you what you did, you ruined my record time right there. Like that was gonna be a really good time. <laughs> that was easily gonna be sub twenty, and you absolutely ruined it. it might have even been a PB. That was really good up until that point. <laughs> Absolutely ruined it. Oh well. I'm very happy. Three mini games in against Master Arm still still in this, so that's pretty good. Um so yeah, at this point, what you want to try and do is you want to land on the greens beforehand and try and land on the notepads. Because the notepads don't y yield minigames. Um so if you because if you've not landed on the minigame prior to this point, landing on a blue space will absolutely give you a minigame. Because the game wants you to encounter as many minigames as you can. Um but the thing is, you can avoid them, so... Yeah, it's just it's just interesting. It's a really interesting thing. If we manage to get to the second half of this board... Oh, um... Wow. Oh, uh... Oh, I, didn't, I missed where the gold was. Yeah, uh... It's a shame I didn't get the gold one. The gold one, um... Is, uh... You basically... It's a slow block. You stop it where you want it to be. Uh, which is very, very helpful. Um, in a speed run. You really want that. Um... Uh, yeah, on the second half of this board, if we get to uh, if we get to it, I'll show you exactly how the AI thinks uh, at a certain point. Like I'll I'll tell you depending on how many stars we all have, um, which way they'll go, because they'll want me to lose stars or they'll want to benefit themselves. Um, so it's just yeah, it's just, it's just very interesting. Like I sort of understand how the AI wants to work. In most, in most scenarios, I mean, this is, might actually be slightly different because we're against Master AI. I'm talking strictly about the uh, story mode, which starts on easy, then it gets progressively harder. Um, so the AI might be weighted a little bit differently in this one. Uh, but generally, I could get a feel for what they're about to do. Eh, fair enough. Doesn't really impact me. Everyone has... Actually, everyone has pretty good dice. Um, obviously, because you want to get as far as possible, the idea is you want to... Um, Nice mini game, um, because you want to get as fast as possible. You want to get four to six dice. Um, there is also a one to ten dice, which you could roll a one. Well, you could roll a ten. So, what's my best bet? Growing up is quite hard to beat the AI. I would imagine bombage is going to be technical. Pimble fool is luck. I'm going to go growing up. I just have to be quicker than them. I don't know how quick they're going to be, though. Let's find out! I think I was first. Yes. Oh, shite. I'm out. I am out. Well, I'm not. I'm not. I just need to be first on all of them. Yeah, if I can be first on all of them, I'll be fine. I don't know if I was. I might be out. This might be it. Oh, I think I'm out. I think I blew it by missing that one. So there is a strategy for this. You want to try and make it so you barely win because the climbing takes time. But because I messed up, I, I might be out. Am I out? Yeah, I'm out. <laughs>